Hello and welcome back in Intellect Tube. Today's topic is Miller Indices. In crystallography, the orientation of a crystal plane can be defined by how the plane intersects the crystallographic axis of the solid. There are a set of numbers which quantify the intersects and uniquely identify the plane or surface. They are called Miller Indices and are represented by three integers h, k and l and no comma is used between them. Miller indices are expressed as the reciprocal of intercepts made by the plane on the three rectangular axes. All the reciprocals are converted to whole numbers so that it can be expressed by three smallest possible integers. Now let's see how we can determine the values of Miller indices for a given plane. Let's we have a cubical unit cell of edge length A. Let's show all the three rectangular axes here and we have a plane like this which cuts the unit cell in two equal parts diagonally. So to find the Miller indices of this plane, at first we will identify the intercepts of this plane on the three axes. In this case, intercept in x direction is A, in y direction also it is A and the plane is parallel to the z axis so it will intersect z axis at infinity. So we have now intercepts equal to a a and infinity for x y and z axis respectively. In step 2 convert these intercepts in fractional coordinates. Fractional coordinates is nothing but the ratio of the intercept and the edge length in the corresponding direction. So here we can get fractional coordinates as 1 1 and infinity. Now in the third step just take the reciprocal of fractional coordinates and it will give you the values of Miller indices h k and l. So here the plane can be represented by 1 1 0 inside a small bracket without any comma. If reciprocal obtained is not an integer then multiply all the reciprocals with the LCM of the denominator of all the three values obtained. Let's take another example of a plane like this. In this case, we can easily see that the intercepts of the plane are A in all the three directions. So, fractional coordinates here will become 1, 1 and 1. And when we take its reciprocal, then we will have Miller indices as 1 1 and 1. So this plane can be represented by 1 1 1 under a small bracket without any comma. Let's see an example where we get the Miller indices in fraction. Here this plane is cutting x axis at the boundary of unit cell and it is cutting y and z axis at a distance of two third of A and half of A respectively. So intercepts here will be A, 2 A by 3 and A by 2. Now the fractional coordinate will become 1, 2 by 3 and 1 by 2. So when we take a reciprocal, we will have Miller indices as 1, 3 by 2 and 2. Since all the three values are not integer here, so multiply all these three values with 2, which is LCM of all the three denominators. So we will get Miller indices as 2, 3 and 4. So this plane is represented by 2, 3, 4. There is an important term in crystallography known as planar density. Planar density is defined as the effective number of atoms per unit area. Let's we have an FCC arrangement like this and we want to calculate the planar density of the front facing plane. So at first calculate the effective number of atoms on the plane. As we can see the atom at face center is contributing one complete atom to the plane and corner atoms are contributing one fourth part of it. So here total effective number of atoms will be 2. 
and the area of this plane is a square so planar density will become 2 divided by a square for fcc its value changes for different different planes and we can calculate that also very easily now let's see what is interplanar spacing interplanar spacing is the distance between a plane and other parallel plane passing through origin if we have a plane with miller indices as h k and l then the interplanar spacing d h k l can be given by a divided by under root h square plus k square plus l square here a is the edge length of unit cell so that's all for today if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and as always thanks